So we have finished discussing direct variation and now it's time for us to have a look at inverse variation. And it's important for you to realize, and I hope I've showed you that, that with direct variation it's important to realize that it's almost the same actually as direct proportion. Yeah? And with inverse variation you should see the connection with inverse proportion. Yeah? Only this is more an algebraic situ uh, yeah, um, situation. Okay? So don't worry too much about all those y's and x's. Inverse variation, I'm just going to give you an example of inverse proportion. Now, I always use the same example, or not always, but many times, where I say, well, it's going to take three men yeah, to paint my house um, in four days. Three men will take four days to paint my house. Now, if they bring some friends and all of a sudden there are twice as many people, yeah, so six men, so that is multiplied by a factor of two, how many days is it going to take those six men, yeah, assuming they all work at the same rate, how many days is that going to take them to paint that same house? Now I hope uh, by using your common sense you realize if that is multiplied by two, it's not going to take twice as long. No. Contrary, you do the inverse operation and inverse proportion, so it's going to only take them two days to paint the house. But let's say I have an argument with all of them, and I have to do it all by myself. Yeah. So from three to one, that is dividing by three. If I have to do it all by myself, is that going to take me less or more than four days? Well, of course, it's going to take you more than four days, actually that is dividing by 3, I multiply it by 3, it's going to take me 12 days to do everything by myself. Now, and if I would sketch that in a graph, so we're talking now about inverse variation, and I drew some axes here, I have the days on my vertical y-axis and the amount of men horizontally on my x-axis, and we've said that 3 men take 4 days. Let me quickly plot a corner there, uh, three men, four days, and that means that six men are going to take two days to do the same job. And all by myself, one is going to be two, four, six, eight, and twelve days. That's what we said. Well, it's going to take two men, if by myself it takes me twelve days, it's going to take two men six days indeed. All right, so that's a point there. Now, although this is a sketch, yeah. Um, hopefully you already see, you are going to draw a particular curve. Yeah? And I'm just going to turn that around because I have a thick pen. It's, oh, I'm going to turn it around again. How am I going to draw this curve? I'm going to do the best I can roughly like this. Because the more men I have, yeah, let's say I have a thousand men, the less time, the less days it's going to take. It's never going to take me zero days, so it's never going to cross this x axis, yeah, but it's getting really, really close to it, yeah. Now, if I'm by myself, it takes me 12 days. Yeah, can I really continue this one like that? Not really, because do I have half a person? No, but perhaps I work half a day, yeah? so then you could say you have half a labor, yeah, so that's going to take me 24 days. So, for inverse variation or inverse proportion, I really don't like my sketch here. So I'm just going to do a general sketch for inverse variation. Yeah. If you would sketch that, if that is your y axis, that's your x axis, it is going to be a curve which roughly looks like this. It's going to approach the y axis, it's going to approach the x axis, but it's never going through. Okay. Now please go to my next video to have a look at questions you have to answer involving inverse variation.